roast leg of lamb, Wellington steak, Turkish kebab. Oh, I want meat! Mm, are you hungry? Worry not, worry not. The leaves of the potatoes we planted have turned yellow. Druvis said this is the harvest time. Let's dig them out and make shepherd's pie. Potato? Vegetable? No, I don't want them anymore. I've been eating healthy salads for a month. I want meat. I want rich, juicy, meaty, sinewy, savoury, sizzling meat! Wait! It smells so good! That's meat! Where's that smell coming from? I do smell something good as well. I'll take a look. Wait, Regulus! The critter's lair is over there! Critter's? No worries. Critter is a type of meat. Roast it over fire and a square meal is here. Ah, smells so good. It's over here. Oh no. What can I do? Father said some critters could cause hallucination and diarrhea if eaten. What's going on, Miss Sotheby? Why are you here walking around alone? Um, where is Captain? Oh, good to see you here. Regular said she smelled meat and went straight to the forest to catch critters. Waffle. It has been too long since we last had Dr. Pepper. Does Captain finally start to have a senior moment? Let's hurry over and take a look. The smell of food is unusual. It's verdant over there. There may well be other dangers lurking somewhere. Weird. Where on earth does the smell come from? the layer of carbuncles. They've been stirred up. Whoa! A bumper harvest of critters! Come and help! Hold on, Captain. We're coming! Five six one six D seven seven six F seven two six B.
Great. A mission with a bunch of arcanists. Me? Did you find something? your steps. Find the machines on the ground. Every choice will affect the outcome. Wow. Relax. It's treatment with a higher dose. <laughs> Easy job. Whoops. <laughs> An accident. Huh. 
Seven, nine. Mm -hmm. A tooth for a tooth. <laughs> Pay for thy sins with thy blood. The resistance is futile. Five two six five six one six four seven nine. And that happen? An eye for an eye.
I did smell the sizzling meat. Oh, it's somewhere around here. Right around. Oh, hi. <gasps> Who are you? Lilia? What are you doing here? I got you something good. It's so good. So good. I barely know what grease is supposed to taste like. <laughs> Thank the great god of rock for his blessings. <gasps> this pirate finally gets some meat to eat. Huh? It is me you should thank. The goddess of victory, who soon brings you freedom. bring us freedom soon. May I ask, how should I interpret your words? <laughs> you want some? Thank you so much for coming alone, and providing us with supplies, Lilia. However, please tell us why you are here. Did Madame Z send you? Already been four and a half weeks, right? This is not the first time I visit you guys here. <laughs> the one hiding in the shadow last time? It's you? I wonder how much longer you can hold on for Vertin. You see, saying is one thing, fighting is another. I've seen many deserters, way too many. Crying out loud, peeing their pants, drooling all over on their rabbit foot. But you guys are different. You actually did it. You conquered places in the Foundation, defended your own places, and put pressure on those in white, till this day, the last day in this four weeks and a half. That's the Stalnaya Volia I appreciate. If I didn't come today, would you eat your boots tomorrow? Of course not. We still have potatoes, almost ripe. And carrots? <laughs> Thank you for your kindness, Miss Lilia. May I take it that you are coming to bring us the good news? Is there a final result for Madame Z's draft? So far as I know, Madame Z hasn't given up yet. Just like you, when she gets serious, she looks like a fierce doe. But I already lost my patience. Tons of processes need to be done before it can be performed, even if the draft is passed at the final vote. As long as Burton is still on that bed in the ward, you're just an isolated island. Everyone can step on you. Take care of them for me when necessary. That's what Vertin said when she gave me the vodka. It's time to deliver on my promise. Are you going to do something dangerous? A thing that is worth the risk. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. 
Someone needs to wake up from the dream. has come to a new stage. It is fascinating. It has plots of unwavering loyalty, survival from the jaws of death, and even a little bit of unconventional excitement. Raise your head, and you will see this splendid spotlight grilling the top of our heads like a stove heating a frying pan. We mumble and Mumble and mumble. Something like arcanists, new changes, perseverance, and the storm. Right, that's it. The storm. The storm is no longer something new here. Everyone in the story talks about the storm. People don't find it attractive anymore. Once you turn the camera out of the spotlight, you'll see many other people on the stage. Many, many other f people. The other actors. Actors who are different from you. Their name won't be listed in the cast at the end of the movie. Not even a poor St. Pavlov squad leader A. They're a bunch of people. A bunch of people just like you, though there are still differences between you and them. Open their bellies and you can find everything that should be there. The liver, the stomach, the spleen, the lungs, and the heart. Their faces are clear to be seen. Look at them carefully. Carefully. Oh, you might have met one or two of them. They come from the same institution as yours, the St. Pavlov Foundation. Eve from the France branch, La from the Egypt branch, and the Matryoshka from the Russia branch. Oh right, your first friend made in a branch. That, that young man with a red nose, Ken. Ken from the Scotland branch. You looked here, you looked there, you couldn't find him anywhere, however hard you tried. Good question. I'll help you find him. Let's keep looking around, but this time vertically instead of horizontally. That's right. Upside vertical. Don't be afraid of that radiant spotlight. Look there. Ignore the risk of blinding your eyes. And you see it. A white umbrella, bigger and wider than any umbrella you have seen. Those green flashes stinging your eyes is the price you have to pay for finding it. The white umbrella is a shelter from the rain, saving that orange-haired girl in white for you. And you have witnessed how people standing in the pouring storm without shelter fade away. Like your little friends, and Ken from the Scotland branch. Remember the differences I just mentioned? A great time to keep silent. Your ugly trauma. A mixture of your mental issues and miserable past would burst out in the next second, making everyone's heart twitch. But think otherwise. If the truth were known to all, today's not real and there's no tomorrow. I'm going to eat my shoes and an asteroid is falling. Then all of them would go crazy. Those 
pigeons valuing sense above anything won't sit aside and let this happen. So they made the most sensible choice. The huge white umbrella has only sheltered those qualified people. Qualified according to their standard. Now, let's cross our arms and make an arrogant judgment like those cynics. How cruel it is! And then, you may start contemplating. Should they all go aboard the Ark? Can this Ark carry this many people? Try to raise the question as peacefully and slowly as you can, and their enthusiasm will be dampened and let out a sound like what you hear when you pour water into a heated pan. Their feelings. Oh, they. You mean Eve, La, and the Matryoshka. Of course you care about your friends. That's a virtue of yours I won't forget. In order to understand their feelings, you need to bend down and reach. That's right. Reach for the dark corner under the stage. Until your fingertip is wrapped by soft, warm, and considerate black velvet, as comfortable as a mother is singing to her baby in a crib. That's what the people without a shelter above them are feeling now. More silence. You are really good at finding the right timing for your silence. Just like my friend and I are experts in farting soundlessly in the elevator cart. My hypocrite and dumb friend. Think about it in a different way. Who knows how much garbage there is under the stage? There may be liquid seeping out of rotten pastry and dairy products, intrusions of American cockroach with sleek abdomen crawling everywhere. Who can say it's not a blessing to know nothing about the truth? Especially when you can't leave this shitty place. <laughs>